Welcome back to more of the Spy Fox 2 Operation Ozone Walkthrough. Now I probably wondered how to get to the mobile command center. Go over here to the jukebox. What a cool jukebox! And you can see like the different um, tunes there is. Basically to play the tunes you have to move the cursor to the letters right here and the numbers to play the different tunes. But for the mobile command center, you basically have to go to the tuxedo here. Listen very carefully to the... Code. That's my new super deep spy pocket. Listen. I can carry an almost unlimited number of items in there. Listen very carefully to the code here to find out what it is to get to mobile command. K9. That's the musical code that will get me into mobile command. Now listen different... Now basically to listen to different tunes here, move the cursor to the arrows right here on the screen and hear like the different tunes. Like here's the man with the golden bun. Now some of these songs are basically references to James Bond films. Like this one is a reference to the man with the golden gun. From Pools with Love, reference to From Russia with Love. Some is Stanley Required, which was the previous Spy Fox game that I did. A View to a Dill, reference to a James Bond film. A View to a Kill. Where has the ozone gone? For your fries only. Reference to James Bond film, for your eyes only. Giggle Giggle, Mr. Joke Joke. Live and Let Fry, reference to James Bond film, Live and Let Die. Mission Impossible, which is reference to Mission Impossible. Moon Baker, reference to Moon Raker. That's the last one. I will, however, listen to the tunes, but not at this moment here. First we gotta get First thing you want to do here is get to Mobile Command. Move the cursor to, cursor to the letters right here, and Numbers, and to get the Spy Fox to Mobile Command. Now for any reason that you make a mistake here, move the cursor to Reset to try again. And like once you get the right number and letter in place, watch this. Now that's music! Exactly. Here's where you go to meet Quack and Monkey Penny. Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom, Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. You've really taken the Mobile Command Center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. And not everything nice. Like when I think of... <clears throat> like I think of the Powerpuff Girls theme song. Sugar, spice, everything nice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. Thanks for the brief debriefing. Like one of the examples would be like, like in the previous video, like in the bathroom where I meet Roger Bohr. And Rog now before I get back to the rest of the game here, let me tell you something interesting about James Bond films. Now basically Roger uh, Bohr, which is in the previous video, is basically, a lot of you may think of actor Roger Moore. In fact, Roger Moore was basically one of the James Bond actors who basically um, passed away in 2017. In fact, it's also the, the 60th anniversary of, or no, uh, that's uh, Sean Connery, my mistake. Like the only James Bond films a lot of you may know are The Man with the Golden Gun, The Spy Who Loves Me, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, and of course A View to a Kill, which is the last one with um, Roger Moore. In fact, Sean Connery, which is the other James Bond actor, which I'm also going to tell you about. Just for a minute here. Like, it's a, the, 60th an the 60th anniversary of the first James Bond film that Sean Connery did, which was Dr. No. Dr. No. In fact, next year will be like the 60th, an 60th anniversary of From Russia With Love, and the other James Bond films that Sean Connery did, like Goldfinger, Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, 
Diamonds Are Forever, and the last one, Never Say Never Again. That's also the same song that was used in American Tale, Never Say Never Again, which is something interesting too. But right now I'm going to get back to the rest of the game. I'll tell you more about uh, James Bond stuff later on. But here, if you're wondering what the spy gadgets are, I'll show you. Just for a minute here. I know the rocket powered origami skateboard was one of them. Like, move the cursor to the vending machine right here and to find out what the different gadgets are. The Spy Rust Buster. What's the breaking news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. Oh. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. And move the cursor to the arrows to see the other gadgets. This one's called the Spy Toaster. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. Reminds me of the first Spy Fox game, which was <coughs> the toaster. And Spy Fox mentioned in the first Spy Fox game looks just like the spy looks like the toaster we have in Spy Core Cafeteria. The spy ear. That sounds interesting. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. Yeah. Now this one here that resembles a bowling ball here is the Spy Bowling Ball. The Spy Bowling Ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message, or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target, and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! Oh. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. Now, Duck needs his fiber. Basically, you're going to need to use that to rescue Plato Pushpin, the rocket scientist. And just like before, in the first two Spy Fox games, you can only have four spy gadgets at a time. You cannot fit any more until you use up what you have. Or not unless you put spy gadgets back in the vending machine, the ones you don't need anymore. You can always get it again later if you need to. Now this gadget here, you're probably wondering what this is used for. This one here, just for a second here, this one's called a pearl detector. The spy pearl detector. What does this gadget do, Professor Quack? Use it on a bed of oysters to find a pearl. The light will flash faster and faster as you get closer to the pearl. Great! There's nothing worse than muscling a bunch of mollusks for one little pearl. Mother of Pearl. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. This one here is called Canned Laughter. The canned laughter. How does this gadget work, Quack? Just pop the top and toss. The sound of laughter will be everywhere. It can be very distracting. I guess you could say it creates a laugh riot, eh, Quack? 
Yes, I guess you could say that. What did you call? The sound of laughter. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. And talk about sense of humor. This one's called the Spy Mint. The Spy Mint. I'm sure this does more than fresh and breath. It's really a glow-in-the-dark spy mint that will light up dark rooms. You simply bite into the mint to ignite it. Not only is it minty fresh, but it works underwater as well. An underwater glow-in-the-dark fresh maker. Ingenious, Quack. Oh, I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. I'm going to save a game here. And now you're probably wondering what the other gadgets are. Well, I'll, I'll show you in the next part. This is my spy watch. That's the end, that's the end of this video, video in the meantime. Same. I'll show you more of the gadgets in the next part. I'll see you then. Bye.